So this is uh, number 12 of 2019, paper 1. We are told using a ruler and a pair of compass on a construct a robust PQRS such that a PQ is equal to 6 cm and angle SPQ is equal to 75 degrees. Measure the length of PR and that is 4 marks. Uh, first of all, before we do the question, uh, let's note the following. First, we are told to use a ruler and a pair of compass. So you don't use any other instrument. The examiner will know if you use any, any other geometrical uh, instrument. The second thing is, do we know what, uh, what uh, the shape of a robust? It is like a stretched uh, square. So it has all the sides equal, but the angles are not 90, unlike the square. So that is also important to note. Then uh, we are given the length of PQ is 6 cm and angle SPQ is 75 cm. So here you are being tested. Do you know how to construct angle 75 without using a protractor? That is using a ruler and a compass only. So that is the information that you need to understand before you start to do this question. Then from there, it is important that we make a sketch so that we know how our uh, robots look like. So let's uh, just make a sketch of uh, a robots here. Uh, so that's a, a, a sketch of a robots uh, so that uh, uh, we can say since angle S, P, Q is 75, then we can say this is our S, that is our P, uh, Q and R. Uh, this is 6 cm and this angle is 75. So that is very important uh, so that when you are constructing, you know where to place uh, each and every point. So from there, let's go ahead and now uh, construct uh, our robbers. You start by constructing a line PQ and measuring uh, the length 6 cm. So after that, we construct an angle of 90 and an angle of 60. So this is an angle of 90 and what I have done is that uh, using a, a, pro, a, meaning a compass I have uh, marked this point here and this point here. I have used a compass to make the, this mark here and I have used this one to make a mark. Then I have joined the two points to come up with the with the uh, angle of 90. The reason I'm doing that is so, so when I construct an angle of 60 uh, I'll, be, I'll be left with 30 degrees then I'll bisect the, the uh, angle of 30 degrees to achieve angle 75 so that's why I'm going through that process so so this is the angle of 60 and what I have done so this angle here is 60 I have used this point here and this point uh, to make two marks using the these two marks using my compass that is uh, using the principle of uh, equilateral triangle since the equilateral triangle uh, uh, the angles are 60 degrees so we have achieved an angle of 60 degrees now what is remaining is to bisect this angle here so that uh, which is 30 so that we gain the angle 15 degrees so let's do that. So finally, I've managed to get angle 75. I have bisected this angle here, uh, which is 30. So this is 15, and therefore the total of this angle is 75 degrees. So that is how you construct an angle of 75 degrees. Uh, so from there, I'll just measure 6 centimeter. This is 6 centimeter PQ. And because it is a robust, I'll measure 6 cm from P to get the position of S. So this is where I have now my, my point, that is S. So this is 6 cm. Uh, so what the point that is remaining is point R. Uh, and since uh, f the, the, it's a robust, I'll use uh, the length 6 cm and I'll mark a point here using point S with my compass and from Q I'll mark 6 centimeter 
where the two lines crosses each other, that is the position of R. And when I join them, uh, then I should come up with the robbers. So let's do that. So I have uh, uh, finally gotten the point R where what I have done, I have used the Q and S uh, to find uh, to get the position of R by extending my compass where the two uh, intersect and this is six centimeter and also this I measured six centimeter so that is how I obtained uh, my point R and the, using a compass you can extend from P to R and place your compass on the ruler uh, and I have uh, obtained uh, my PR is equals to 9.3 centimeters. So that's how you work out that. It's a bit tedious because uh, I'm using the computer, but while you, you are doing it using the instrument, then uh, you should be able to move faster. But the point here is we are learning how to work out uh, this kind of questions. So I hope uh, this has helped.